next function that we'll look at is quick keyword in context lines. Quick is a useful function for looking at the types of words that surround the target word, uh, such as prepositions, which are often difficult for English language learners. Let's take a look using our phrases from earlier that we use with the list function. Go for a run versus take a run. First we'll look at go for a run and see what types of words occur around this phrase. When we type go for a run or another word or phrase into the search field, it will be represented here in this middle area. Then we can look for words that occur around it. If we click on these, then we'll expand the number of words that we can see around go for a run. If we click on quick here, after we put that in, this will give us the phrase and what's occurring around it. This is interesting. Uh, we have go highlighted in pink uh, because it's a verb. Then we have for, which is a preposition, so that'll be highlighted in yellow. Uh, then we have our article in gray. And we have run, which is a verb or a noun. And as a noun, it's highlighted in blue. If it occurs as a verb, then it will be highlighted in pink. Here we have go for a run after breakfast, go for a run and a swim, and go for a run anywhere. Here we can see we have a number of different types of words that can follow the phrase go for a run. You can have articles, prepositions, or any number of words. Now if we go back and change go for a run to take a run, we might see some different patterns. So let's say we have take a run and click quick. Uh, we'll notice here we have run occurring as a noun and highlighted in blue. Then we have lots of prepositions. Um, they're highlighted in yellow and we see in particular the preposition at, like uh, take a run at Clinton. That's probably talking about Hillary Clinton's presidential run. Uh, we can go back over here, the context, and uh, this comes from a news program. We also have take a run at amazon.com. Uh, we can see a lot of this stuff looks like it's representing an effort, like trying to achieve something. Uh, here we can see differences between these two phrases by using the quick function. Again, quick doesn't need to be used with phrases alone. Uh, it could be used with single words as well. So if we want to see, for example, just run, and let's say we want to see run as it occurs just as a verb, we put that tag in there. and then click on quick, and we'll see what we get. Here we have run highlighted in pink uh, as a verb. We can see that it's followed by a preposition sometimes. Um, it's followed by noun sometimes, and noun sometimes, and more prepositions, uh, so we can see the types of patterns that occur around run. So a possible activity you could do is you could have your students work in pairs. You have them um, put in a phrase like take a run, and then they can look at patterns that are happening around take a run. Um, we saw earlier that take a run seems much more restrictive in terms of the type of word that follows it. Um, in particular prepositions and in particular the preposition at. Um, your students can just can look at that and they can take note of the patterns around take a run. Then they can compare it with go for a run or any two phrases that you want them to look at. Then they can look through the data and discover for themselves what types of patterns mark 
certain phrases and uh, differentiate them from other phrases or words.